Hey friends, right here it is, June 22nd, 2024, and we are going to work on testing some displays for this countdown machine. Now, every single one of them has this black blob here. So I don't know if that's good, bad, or indifferent, but we're going to roll with it. So the first thing we're going to do is try and test all these chips here. I won't bore you with all of them, but basically you stick your red pin on pin 9 here. It's from Clay's Guides. And then all the ones should read around 0 0.6, 0 0.7, and all these ones should be dull, null, which is, you know, like 0 or 1 or whatever. Um, problem is it's resting on the main nipple, so let's see if we can do this a little bit where you can still see it. It's best damn stuff on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? All right. So, pin nine, open, 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 open. All right. Point seven two three two four three seven four seven four seven three eight three five seven two. Okay, so my phone's about to die, but I can do that on all eight chips if there's any on the little one. And we're going to bake them. You ready for this? Go wait for that. All right, so the rest of them test good. But this particular one here, uh, both of these chips are showing that they're like completely dead. Like this one pin over here works on both of them, but they're all it's showing open. So that sucks. To write that on my list to get a couple of them chips if they still make them and let me get set up and we'll burn these puppies all right got this hooked up to my computer power supply it says positive 12 volts it says negative 12 volts Let's see what happens so they're on the outermost pins this is Clay's thing, not mine, so don't come at me if you break your shit. So, leave it on for about five seconds. All right, ready? One, two, three, four, five. These ones are already pretty bright, so they're all good. So we're going to do this one is the fourth one. And we're gonna do that one with 12 volts here. And we'll call our day till we get the rest of them chips in and we can put them in and see if they work. All right, we'll see you soon. All right, well, it's sometime later, October 19th. We have got all these working. This one at the bottom here was the one that was suspect. And the first time I plugged it in, it didn't work. And then I unplugged it poked around a little bit with my multimeter, plugged it back in, and lo and behold, they all come back to life. Now, that's zero. This garbage that you're seeing is because the memory doesn't have a battery in it. Uh, that should be fixed eventually, but it's booting and ready to go. Um, none of the control lamps are on because none of the control lamp connectors are plugged in. So... Anyway, watch for the next video where we assemble it bit by bit and go from there. All right. Keep it real. Thanks for watching. Later.